Sista programpunkten i natt är den avslutande delen av actionserien 3. Gentlemen, Ambassador oh, Juarez. Thank you very much for coming. Your grace us with your presence. Enjoy our Santa Costa hospitality. Ah, uh, my friend, nice to see you. He's making a fool of me on the golf course, you know. <laughs> thank you very much for coming. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you for your support of our country's resolution. Very nice to meet you. Please enjoy our hospitality. Thank you. He's here. Ah, if you will excuse me. Champagne, Ambassador? Yes, I do. It was an accident, you know. Excuse me? Champagne. French monks making wine just stumbled on it. Purchase the material on the black market and have it in your possession. Have you chosen to accept our offer? I wrestled long and hard over what would be best for my country. Bringing our defense program into the nuclear age versus uh, accepting a substantial bribe. The money is for my country, not for me. Of course. Accept your offer. And the material is in here. Stop me from making you disappear. Taking the money and keeping the nuclear material. There'd just be someone else to replace me. All 120 grams. Not that you'd actually open it to check. Understand we chose to pay you for this because it was the most convenient option. If in future you pursue any similar activity, we will employ other, less convenient options. Nap time. That was a shot. What's going on? I'll find out in a moment. This goes back in here. Say nothing about me. Two? Who are they? We'll find out soon enough. Now get out of here. Come. Over there. Everyone against the wall. Just currently midnight. I'm at the Santa Costan Embassy in Washington, D.C. Stay against the wall. Welcome to the evening news. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Hey, All of you, stay quiet! A high-end 
art and jewel thief. A master of the short con and martial arts. A hacker Robin Hood who stole from the rich to give to the poor. The organization's job is to protect the status quo. You three are each the best at what you do. Now you will do it for us. of you, but I really love getting a summons at 1 a.m. Yeah, I was out with a bunch of friends. I was at a party, introducing myself to Miss Wright. Really? On a Monday night? Actually, I was at home reading. All right, I was asleep. I would have been asleep if I wasn't such an insomniac. What's going on? That's what we're waiting to find out. You mean the man has left us waiting? Somebody pinch me. And risk dismemberment? That's all right. If you are viewing this, your summons has been triggered remotely because of evolving circumstances. It is currently midnight. I'm in the Santa Costan Embassy in Washington, D.C. Earlier today, the Santa Costan Ambassador to the United States procured weapons-grade plutonium on the black market. We immediately contacted the Ambassador and struck a deal with him to purchase the nuclear material before he could transport it back to his own country via diplomatic pouch. The deal was being consummated when armed intruders of some kind entered the premises. The nuclear material has been resecured in the vault in the ambassador's office, and the locking mechanism has been disabled. Your assignment is to penetrate the embassy as quickly as possible and to remove the plutonium before it falls into any hands other than our own. At all costs, even to the detriment of other seemingly more pressing goals. You will find all the relevant files and plans secreted under the dining room table. Good luck. He left this behind just in case. The man plans for all outcomes, as usual. Yeah, even if the outcome is us bailing him out. So what now? We can forget about getting sleep. We continue to preempt our regularly scheduled programming for our special breaking news coverage. For those of you just tuning in, terrorists identifying themselves as Shining Dawn revolutionaries have taken control of the Santa Costa Embassy in Washington. A written message to police indicated the lives of the hostages are in danger if the terrorists' political demands at home are not met. DCPD, SWAT, and FBI Special Tactical Units have been called in to deal with this crisis that began several hours ago at a reception for local diplomats. As far as we can determine, there are between 25 and 30 hostages being held in the ballroom. No indication anyone's been hurt yet. We're still trying to establish communication with the Shining Dawn, find out what they want, and bring the situation to peaceful resolution. Yeah, they can communicate all they want, but 10 to 1, these Shining Dawn characters want exactly the same thing. It's way too much of a coincidence that they show up the day the plutonium just happens to be locked in the embassy. Washington, D.C. City Planners Files. The organization has blueprints to most buildings on this thing here. Mayor's Mansion, Veterans Administration. Tiffany's. Come on, for after our kamikaze run-in with the armed terrorists? Hello? Let's joke. All right, here we go. Santa Costa Embassy. Can you see the ambassador's office? Yeah, it looks like it. Right? Here. Any idea how we get in the embassy in the first place? City sewer runs directly under it. The sewer? Yeah, it's the only way to do it. Right under the noses. <laughs>
guards are unconscious. It's looking pretty good so far. Well, what we are is jammed in a standpipe and covered in sewage. <laughs> you ready to move up and out? You're kidding, right? team has spotted five terrorists, all armed with automatic weapons. Well, we got one thing in our favor. Was that sudden, uncharacteristic optimism? I know we're coming. Expecting someone? Relax. We get what we want, and in a little while, your wish will come true. What wish would that be? You get out alive. Unless you have something else in mind. I don't like your tone. My apologies. Uh, you never know what people will do when they're scared. That's what makes situations like these so very dangerous. Keep an eye on him. Found Mr. Green Jeans. Look, he is unhappy as ever. Yeah, well, at least you now he's got an excuse. The ambassador's office is this way. For later. Where's that optimism again? Hello? It's under an hour. We would have been in and out of here by now if you wouldn't have destroyed the locking mechanism. I wouldn't have given you the combination. I don't know about that. What are you going to do with me? Shouldn't you be more concerned about the hostages? What do you want? We want power, same as you. And 120 grams of plutonium will make us impossible to ignore. Now you just sit tight. I'd actually put the odds very low at you destroying the lock. Why? Because it was a heroic act, and you're a coward. The vaults are Willamette Instruments, Regency 3. It's a late 80s model. It's steel jacketed with quadruple titanium rod deadbolts. All right, translate it from burglar. What does that mean? It's hell to cut through, which is what they're figuring out. But you've got a better way. There's a gap in the casting mold at the bottom of the vault. And it's covered by baffle plates, which is about this wide. OK, I guess we know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, this baffle plate in the floor of the vault is about one foot left from the center of the floor, which would place it about exactly here. You ready? Unfortunately, yeah.
Late arrival. Found him coming out of the hallway at the back. They checked him. He's clean. What's your name? Marcus. I'm not a big fan of disobedience, Marcus. Didn't you hear my orders? No, ma'am. All I heard was the gunshots. Then I hate. Discretion is the better part of valor. Keep that in mind, and you'll be fine. Why are you here? Getting the lay of the land. As soon as Jonathan and Amanda are in the vault, we can get these people clear of these maniacs. Your arrogance astounds me. Excuse me? Your instructions were to get the nuclear material off the premises. End of story. You are not to pursue any other goals that could jeopardize that. It's nice to see you too. We're cutting away. Did you hear anything? Nope. Noise cancellation's working fine. Would you be so kind as to connect me with the police hostage negotiator outside the Santa Costa Embassy with the bald head? Hold the line. As soon as I have more information, you'll be the first to know. Excuse me. Who am I speaking with? You've been told three times already by the police operator who confirmed the origin of this call. The State Department is working with your president to see what they can do. First, he's not my president, or I wouldn't be here. Second, you will address me as ma'am. Third, you will not speak unless spoken to. Understood? Understood, ma'am. Now, I was a psych major at university, and I did my thesis on crisis simulation and hostage negotiation. So don't bother with any mind games, ploys, carrot and stick routines. Is that also understood? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. We want child labor outlawed in my country. We want the release of all political prisoners. And we want a minimum wage. And. What else are we sending this idiot off doing? Land redistribution, ma'am. Right. And the distribution of all state-controlled lands to the people. And we want a Sikorsky helicopter to fly us out here. And don't bother sending us a SWAT disguised as a pilot. I brought my own. Just give us a couple hours, ma'am. You've got 30 minutes. Or we kill a hostage. Later. Time? Five minutes, and we're in. Everyone been well behaved? No one dies as long as things go smoothly. Champagne on the house. The ambassador's finest. We got a problem. Incoming. One of them is on the way down. Now? He can't come now. Well, why don't you tell him that? He's on his way. Hit me. Excuse me. Hit me. Scream. Say something rude. Quickly. Now isn't the time. Jonathan and Amanda are in that cellar. Do it now or I will. What are you looking at? Someone who does not do what is told. Behave yourself. 
Wait a minute, what, you, you, you haven't heard what he's been saying to me. Actually, it wasn't directed at him, ma'am. More towards his mother. What, ma'am? Boys being boys, where's the champagne? When I heard the shots, I... Yeah. Down to the last two millimeters in the locking mechanism. Our tools almost in. You stay here. Close call. What happened upstairs? I just saved your butts. What's your progress? They're almost done. in there. Check out these emeralds. All yours. Careful. I saw him put it back. Who? Oh, you saw who? How do you explain this? I can't. But there is a man. There is a man out there. If anyone knows what happened, I'm sure he does. Who? Absolutely no idea what he might be referring to. Marcus, Marcus. Marcus, what's going on? Who are you? Just a man who went to the wrong party. He's lying. <gasps> One of you must be. We're coming up. There's no move. Tell me what I want to know, or I'll shoot the ambassador. That would be a shame, but I can't help you. You'd get the next bullet. An even greater shame. So tired of this world. Take the plutonium and get out of here. I'll go and get Marcus and the man. And let you have all the fun? Forget it. I don't know if the ambassador's telling the truth or not. Somebody has to die to make the point. And he's still potentially useful. 
Sorry. All right, wait a minute. He's not the one you want. Marcus, don't do this. What are you doing? What I have to. I don't want anyone to do anything stupid or get hurt. So you're the one who disabled the safe? Right before I stole the plutonium and hid it. Hit it where? Don't be a hero. Tell her we've got it before they give you a much bigger hat size. I can't. Then we'll find it ourselves. Any last words? Yeah. The pen is mightier than the sword. Ow! Get back! Stay down! All right, get back. Take it easy. We're just gonna redefine this terrorist hostage. Get back! Damn it! Do something! Go! Go! Split up and find them! This one! Stay here. Concerned citizens. What's this? Perfume? Yeah. Old unconscious. Who hired you to steal the plutonium? And what are they paying you? Nothing, actually. Yeah, but we got a great dental plan. All right. The man said take the plutonium and let's get the hell out of here. And forget the hostages? Which we're not going to do. Tell me, is this conscience thing something you just feel inside, or is it actually a little angel that sits on your shoulder? Let's do it. Here. Tape your mouth. I'd rather not. You don't want me to do it. Eh, eh, eh. Calm down. I just want to show you something. Do you have any idea what these are worth? Give or take uh, 50 grand. Santa Costa is full of them. Let me go and I'll make you a very rich woman. Oh, I, uh, I hope it's enough. Get him out of here. How's our guest? Are you bonding? Oh, yeah, it's great. We're planning to catch Lilith Fair together. Ice princess, aren't you? A little broken inside. What's the matter? Daddy didn't love you enough? Or was it too much? Can I confide something in you? It's just us girls. I really like shooting people like you. Let's go. Everyone in the middle of the room. Oh. Oh. Hell, I'm hit. Arturo, <laughs> drop the gun. Okay, keep calm. I want everyone out of here.
Welcome aboard. All the hostages are coming out. Everyone's fine. Who is this? I think we're done here unless anyone wants to stick around. What are you going to do with me? Nothing. Now. Don't you want to get out of here? Once you've left the way you came, with the plutonium, we'll discuss your behavior later. Green jeans. Sorry to break up the sleepover. We're coming down. Oh, thank God. I can't stand guarding Cruella de Vil in a minute. Oh! 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 oh, guys. Oh, guys. We got a problem. Not me. Humongous. Get the media away. Get me ambulances and transport. Whoever doesn't need medical attention gets debriefed immediately. as police try to determine if there are any of the Shining Dawn members left inside. She's not upstairs. She's not downstairs either, or in any of the offices. She got away. You failed in your assignment. We rescued all those people, and you. You lost the one thing it was most important to obtain. The plutonium has the... Has the potential to kill millions, we know. But if we'd taken it, you'd be dead. A sacrifice it was up to me to make. Now, the police will begin to enter in a moment. It would be inconvenient if they found you here. Wait, wait. This isn't over yet. It can't be. Look, she can't just disappear whether she's got the plutonium or not. There's layers of police barricades out there. She can't just slip through and... Yes, she can. frying pan into the sewer. We'll have her back by the end of the day. This ambulance could be anywhere by now. How many ambulances do you think there are out there anyway? <sighs> Hundreds. The only thing that could be worse is if it were a yellow cab. I've got an idea. What are you doing? Searching for the frequency they're using. Who's using? Uh, dispatch. Yeah, this is Charlie Two Niner. Copy Two Niner. Still crazy by the embassy? Uh, that's a lot crazier way I am. Listen, we're uh, in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. I need you to put out an APB on an ambulance unit. Seven one four. Get them to find their force. He's brilliant. You gotta admit, he really does sound like a cop when he does that. Hey, when's Oscar night? Mac. Uh, no, actually negative. I dropped the walkie in a puddle. Hey, you know, you're sounding pretty weird on your end, too. Wayne does improv, right, too. I do have a call. Put the APB out now. We'll find Great. your ambulance. And while we're on a single frequency, I really enjoyed dinner last week. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did, too. We'll, we'll have to do that again real soon. Yeah? When? Yo, Wednesday. Can we come, too? Is there any way to use that thing to scan all the passengers leaving the airport in, say, the next hour? I can do it, but that won't help. There's gonna be thousands there. There's no way to tell her from the rest of the pack. Yeah, she didn't wind up at the airport for nothing. She must have a way to get the plutonium out of there. A plan. She 
she always did. She probably never even planned on taking a helicopter out. I'm on it. Please put your hands in the air. With apologies, everyone is a suspect who can get this all squared away. In the left inside pocket of my jacket, you will find a business card. Hands in the air. Have your superior call the number on that card. It will save a great deal of time and trouble for you. Four passengers in the next hour pre-cleared for the metal detectors. Two federal air marshals, a handicapped man with a pen in his leg, and hold on. I got her. You sure? Pretty damn sure. Odds. Five to two. Not good. Not the best we've got. What are you doing now? Slowing things down. You're on flight 27? That's right. We just got word it's delayed an hour. Who can I talk to? There's a life on the line here. Well, they say the delay is only temporary until they clear up a computer glitch. Who can I talk to about another flight? I can look into that for you. on runway three. We could have you on your connecting flight to Panama with time to spare. If you don't mind me asking, who is this going to? A very sick little girl is going to have a whole new life. I don't know who you are, but uh, I'm sorry. You can go or do whatever you want to do. Please. I'm seeing you.
All right. Let's hear it. Yeah, about how we should do as we're told, never deviate from the assignment. You were chosen by the organization in part because none of you feel bound by normal social constraints. As a result, you're capable of creative solutions, of achieving success where all others have failed. The organization does not expect men and women with these attributes to play strictly by the rules. It understands that a level of rebellion and distrust of authority comes with the territory. That these very attributes are, in fact, what make you so effective. That said, if you ever disobey orders and veer so drastically from the course of an assignment again, there will be dire consequences. You know, it would have been a hell of a lot easier just to have left you all behind. My point exactly. So what you're saying is basically, we get zero for saving your butt. The ends justify the means. No pat on the back, no thank you card. None. Oh, God. Look. You... You took this from the ambassador's vault. Excuse me? The emeralds. I have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. <laughs>